Hi, I'm Moose Jaw Matt, and this episode focuses on a fish that was known as the Guardian of the Deep. And when people saw it anciently, they thought that there would be trouble because it seemed to come when there would be trouble. The name of the fish is the oarfish. The oarfish is long like a paddle, but much, much longer. While a paddle or an oar can be four or five or six feet long, the oarfish, or giant oarfish, usually average about three meters or ten feet. They are a pelagic fish. Pelagic means open ocean. They are uh, not just pelagic open ocean. They are a deep water fish. So that's why they were sort of known as the guardians of the deep. The longest recorded specimen was about five and a half meters or 18 feet. However, there are reports that they can grow up to 17 meters and weigh up to 600 pounds or about 270 kilograms. So as already stated, they are deep sea creatures and normally live between 500 and 1,000 feet deep. So guardians of the deep. Something interesting about oarfish is that if they're threatened by predators, they can amputate the end of their tails like some lizards we know. <coughs> Ancient people believed that they were sea monsters, but in reality, they are toothless and harmless. However, when you see them, they definitely look mythical. They are long, extremely shiny, but they have these red frilly uh, fins coming from the top of their head and going all the way along down their body. And their eyes are a little interesting. They look very... <laughs> if I saw one of these when I was swimming, I would probably freak out, just to be honest. So they're an interesting fish. Harmless, though. So there's more to the myth than there is in reality. What's more... It was believed that when people would see them, that they thought an earthquake or a tsunami or some other disaster was going to happen. There isn't much truth to that. What's really happening, when these fish, they're actually not strong swimmers, come up from the deep, it means that they are probably injured or sick and they are about to die. <laughs> these oar fish, they don't eat tacos. They feed on krill or other tiny plankton, which many of the ocean's largest creatures feed on the tiniest. They are very shiny. They are very shiny because their entire body is coated with a silvery-like material called guanine. The oarfish is technically the longest bony fish in the world. They are not as long as the whale shark, however, and that is because the whale shark does not have bones. It's made of cartilage. So the giant oarfish does have bones. Therefore, it is the longest bony fish in the world. And the winner is... Uh, another mysterious thing about this oarfish, there's a lot we do not know about it because it lives so deep. There is at least one account from researchers in New Zealand who said that the oarfish was giving off electric shocks when touched. There has not been much verification of that beyond that report, but it is intriguing nonetheless. Maybe they're a little bit like electric eels, but less. It's amazing what, in the natural world, what abilities there are which we know very little about. For example, the megamouth shark seems to have some glowing in its mouth. For those who were listening to Shark Week this last summer, you heard that. But it's not really studied, so we don't know for sure or how often this is happening. So the oarfish has electric shocks, apparently, but we don't know anything about it. Well, listeners, that's it for this episode. However, there's a preview for the next upcoming episode. There is a <laughs> there is an animal called a spider that's not really a spider. It is terrifying looking. If you want to be freaked out, you can look at a picture of it, but unless you do, don't. So we're going to talk about this spider 
non-spider next time. I'm Moose Jawmat. Until next time, keep exploring your world.